Hello, and welcome to Jared's Corner. Today is May 16th, 2014. To you, that might not mean anything, but to me, it means a lot. Why? Well, because today is my 20th birthday. Well, not exactly yet, because I was born at 12.45 a.m., and it is currently 12.05. So in 40 minutes is when I officially turn 20. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I'm going to do some stuff with my family. I'm going to see Godzilla today. Yeah. So, got that going for me, which is nice. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to show you people some stuff. All right, and mainly what I'm showing you is my, this is my laptop, and this is my script. Yeah. Yeah, it's inspired by Reservoir Dogs and Pulp Fiction, and you want to see how many... Uh, page 1 of 205. The script is actually... Uh, 204 pages. But the yeah, the title page is the f what we make the 205th one. Um, yeah, I'm working on some other scripts with a friend of mine. This is all you got right now. But, uh, wait, that's another one. Never mind. Uh, yeah, that's something else. Journey of an Addict. Uh, there's nothing written here yet because I have um, some ideas for get the other one nope there and um, yeah there's like this is like uh, basically talk back and forth we're gonna meet like hopefully I forgot the bright the buzz name down there Jay Doran the co-writer of this film with me. We haven't written anything yet, but we're just kind of throwing ideas out, and I've kind of written some stuff, and he's yeah, he's done some other things too, yeah. Got giving me some stuff to help with. Um, yes. Uh, title page. Yeah, well. Ugh. Uh, I don't know why that just looks more official to me for some reason. You might think, oh, that's kind of dumb, but whatever. And here's what it'll look like now. Yes, yes. So, looks more official. Why am I showing you this? Well, I can. And I. I'm going to come back and basically I'll uh, I'm just gonna basically come back when um it's basically time when I was born at twelve forty five. So yeah. So Woo! Uh, yeah. Uh, I um, I was wondering what I'm gonna watch aside from today, like a little later, right after I I do this little video thing and put the stuff on my computer and all that. Um, 
I'll get ready to upload the YouTube. I won't do it till later on today. Um, so basically, when you see this, it's clearly up. But yeah. Uh, sorry if I'm trying to stay, but um, I was trying to figure out what should I do right after all that stuff, and I'm gonna watch a movie because I love movies. favorite film of all time is Star Wars. I love all of them. And he's like my top uh, ten movies. And number two is out, but I'll show you that in a moment. And then the Batman movies in my favorite Batman movies are Christopher Nolan's. Some people don't like that he made it too realistic, but you know... Uh, Batman in general, of all the superheroes, he was, he is one of the most realistic superheroes. So, like, I didn't think it was that far of a stretch, and a lot of people complain about that, but you know what? There's always going to be something that people complain about. I love Tim Burton's movies. I don't complain about them, but, I mean, I like Christopher Nolan's better, but... Yeah, and I didn't. I don't necessarily wish that they made, or they're gonna make a new Batman series, because that's what they're gonna do, basically, from the sounds of it, um, with Ben Affleck. Like, you should wait like at least ten years before you think of making a new Batman series. But you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. I also don't think they should have like a. Star Wars 7 through 9 and a trilogy of spin-offs because you know what as much as I love Star Wars and it's my favorite film series episode 4 is my favorite movie of all time if I had, or had to pick a favorite Star Wars movie which is really hard I actually had to think about it for a long time um but yeah um Because, you know, it's been done. It, it started on top, it ended on top. The story is complete. And, you know, after a moment of episode three, I'm like, hey, it'd be cool if there was a th third Star Wars movie. Or, not third, um, like, I guess a third trilogy is what I mean. Like, or uh, another saga, like six parts saga to add on, but I'm like, I never really thought, uh, seriously about it, um, but, uh, he sold it to Disney, and I've never really made a video about what I thought, because, uh, basically everybody else that thought my way said everything I needed to say, so I'm like, there's really nothing else I can say, maybe I will say something more when it, it comes closer, uh, to like um, episode 7 comes closer um, I don't know uh, I will see it no matter what though but yeah and then, yeah so Star Wars is my favorite movie what my second favorite movie in s which has a series that's on and I'll show in a minute um, and then third would be Batman movies Fourth is Reservoir Dogs, and fifth is Pulp Fiction. Some will say this is better than this. But I like this more than this, just because, you know, the first, the way my mind works, I see a movie, like it can be like Inception, for instance. I saw that once, I understood everything that happened. I saw this once, so I understood what happened. And... I don't know, I guess I think it's because in the Reservoir Dogs you get to know the characters better. Like the three main characters. And in Pulp Fiction, yeah, you see the main characters like <clears throat> Vincent and Julius. Jules, Jules, I don't know why I said Julius, oh, my mind. 
is going already, and I'm already 20, so that's bad. Um, but yeah, well, you see those two main characters basically fluently enough. Uh, I don't know, I always kind of felt there should have been a little more. That's just me personally. Um, but I like how half of the Reservoir Dogs you know, the other half you don't really know a lot about. Like you know nothing about Mr. Blue or Mr. Brown. Uh, you know, pretty much you know everything you need to know about Mr. Pink just by his character the way he is, but still, you know, you don't know his background. So yeah, and my sixth favorite movie is The Godfather Trilogy. I just put, like, the movie series all at once because it's just easier. My favorite Godfather movie is the first one. Um, second's great, too, also. Um, the third actually isn't bad. It's like the prequels. Prequels aren't horrible. They at least connect to the original trilogy, and really, in the end, that's what it really boils down to, is Anakin turning to the dark side and... Which basically all everything that happened with that has to connect very well with episode four and I think it did. That's just me. Uh, my seventh favorite movie is Scarface. My eighth favorite movie is Eight Mile and I, I was actually you know watchability, likability, how much I love these movies is how, you know, how you're supposed to um, rate your top ten movies, or top movies at least. Yeah, I didn't do this intentionally. But like, like a couple of days later or whatever. It could have been in hours, but it might have felt like days. I realized that I put 8 Mile as my 8th favorite movie. But that's just how much I like this movie. I think it's a well-made movie, and it's very inspirational. Uh, Lose Yourself is my favorite song of all time, because it is an inspirational song. And it just gets me pumped every time I hear it. And I'm like, I can do, basically do anything you... Like, at the end of the song, you, you can do anything you set your mind to. Uh, Silence of the Lambs is my ninth favorite movie. Great movie. Good Will Hunting is my tenth, and that is also a great movie. If you haven't seen any of these movies, you really should. Oh, and these. They're all good, too. And these. And all of those. And there's some shots. And there's some games and more movies. And I like movies. Movies everywhere. Uh, well, that's the Universal Monster movies. Yeah, and there's more. And the Dark Knight Ultimate Collector Edition Trilogy. Woo! Um, yeah. I thought the remake was decent, or the new version, or re-adaptation. I guess that's a good word for the new one. The original is, obvious, is better, in my opinion, but, you know, uh, I really like the new carry. It was alright. Better than I thought it was going to be. Uh... They did improve some things I uh, uh, liked, uh, or I thought could have been improved with the original. Uh, but those were like little, mostly nitpicks. I might get to that a little later some other day. Uh, I'm going to watch this a little later. Jaws. Yeah, that's my favorite movie second favorite movie of all time. A 
I want to get the, um, you know, the book version, like where you open it and the, the like on one side is the DVD, then the other is the Blu-ray. Um, don't have one of those. Oh, um, kind of like this. Oh. Yeah, there's the Exorcist. But like here would be like the DVD. And there would be the Blu-ray. And there would be like a little book here. But it would be mostly like this size. Just a little thicker. And that would be it. Well, well. I guess this would be the best example. I don't know why I... Got the Exorcist. But hey, well, that's a good movie. So is this. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna watch this a little later. I will then commence when I will be born, so I will get to talk to you a little later. Alright, I've got something to show you. It's twelve forty two right now, but the microwave microwave says twelve forty. So this is Two minutes behind. Hold on. Ow. That means it was actually 2.07 when I showed the microwave. So it was actually 38 minutes away from when I was born. I bet this is really interesting to you. Yeah. You know why I'm doing this? Because it's my birthday and I can do what I want. I could shoot a hooker if I wanted. You know, right after sex, you know, of course, because uh, that'd be kind of dumb just to shoot her and do nothing. I mean, I guess I could do something afterwards, but uh, uh, that necrophilia is not. No. Space Ghost. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So a boat of mine, the guy whose name I typed on the yeah the script thing, Jade. Yeah, he and I were just talking a little bit, and yeah, we're gonna meet Sunday at this place, and we're gonna. Film some stuff, or not film some stuff, I'll write some stuff. Pitch some ideas to each other. It should be really awesome. Um, one more minute until I'm born. Well, I'm already born, but yeah, you know what I mean. I'm just excited. I share my birthday with Megan Fox and Peter Fonda. And other people, but yeah. Uh, a friend of mine, actually, she and I shared the, the, today is our, both of our birthdays, but I'm older than her. I'm a year older, so today she's 19. I am 20, so when she's 20, I will be... <clears throat> 21 and uh, or maybe it's just 30 seconds uh, longer than hey, I am born I'm officially 20 now here's the official face of a 20 year old uh, I'm stupid uh, whatever I can be today it's my birthday I've yeah, I've earned the right. And you earned the right to be a little stupid on your birthday, too. I'm not saying you should be. I'm not saying that you are stupid. But, you know, if you want to be stupid on your birthday, yeah, I don't see the reason why you can't. I mean, keep the stupidity level at a reasonable volume. Because you don't want to do something really ridiculously stupid that you could get arrested or something um, but 
Yeah, uh... Might go streaking out in the woods. Because I can do that. Or just down the block and run the city. They'll never catch me. Because I'm Batman. And no, I'm not. And that was stupid. And I apologize for that. No, kind of. Not really, but yeah. Whatever. Ah. Uh, and this has been Jared's Corner. I don't know if you actually liked this or not. I don't really care. I hope you did. But if you didn't, I don't care. Uh, but, yeah. See you guys next time. Peace. Uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Turn off. It's not turning off. Peace out.